Her name is Honey. Honey? Yeah. And how old is Honey? She turned 19 yesterday. He or she? I can't she. 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 I can't she. It feels like a she. Uh, she turned 19? Oh, my gosh. And how long have you had her? 15 years. 15 years. That's a long time, sweetie. Okay. Now, so, Rachel, go uh, ahead and put the video. She can see you. Go ahead and sh show the honey to Samantha. Yeah, yeah. So, um, she looks like she's getting ready to go, you know. Um, she, she, this is what she does all day. So, she sleeps like this all day. Right. She'll get up. To her, her back legs are, are caving. Um, her back legs are caving. Um, she she has a caving. She doesn't have the strength anymore, right? That's what it feels like. So the issue is, um, is she ready to make that transition or not, correct? Is that what you're wanting to know? Yes. Okay. So um, all I needed to know is her age and how long you've had her and that she's... Uh, She's telling me she's very, very weak. I'm going to close my eyes now, and I'm just going to start working with her. And then I'm going to, then I'll start talking to you. The first thing I'm going to find out is, is it appropriate to assist her in the transition? And then the next thing is, that I'm going to do is to ask her what's going on in her body and at that, when I do that, I let myself become the animal. And then I'll write down what's going on in her body. Then the next thing is I'm going to open up to her to let her tell me about her life. And then, uh, and then I'll start rattling off information to you, okay? Okay. So um, one of the, th the two things that are most important for me when I'm working with any animal is number one to find out what the level of discomfort is and if it's close to the end of their life is to find out if they are ready and uh, if they have any unfinished business okay hi there baby look at you you sweet little soul she's gonna feel me in just a few seconds so if you all of a sudden see her be a little bit perky don't worry about that all right and uh, and then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to get quiet now, okay? Yeah, I know how hard this is for you, honey. I can feel you. She is um, quite similar to my Irish setter. I can feel like she's been not only the close friend, but a teacher for you. And, uh, wow. Do you have little kids? Yes, yeah, she talks about some little kids. And uh, she's a little worried about, uh, this seems to be the smaller one. Is that a little boy? The smaller child that she's a little worried about. And so I'm going to let her know, uh, what is this, little, this child's name? Is she worried about the oldest or the very youngest? The very youngest. That's my daughter, Luna. Uh, okay. Because it's very, the person's very, very small. Yeah. I can tell by the size of her feet. Okay. That may sound funny, but it is. And you may get um, to help your children. Uh, I would get some Bach flower, Star of Bethlehem, and Honeysuckle. And put it in their orange juice or in water. That'll just help the ease, okay? Okay, now I'm going to go quiet. Okay. So what are the ch children's names? Because she's gonna she's gonna give me information about them. But uh, instead, my of, oldest my uh, oldest is is Caleb. He's eight. He uh, uh, and then my middle is Jack. He's seven. Okay, and then the little girl, Luna. She's three. No wonder she's got a thing with Luna, right? She's got a very close relationship with Luna for some reason. Very that is weird because she's actually Caleb's. Uh, she's actually Caleb's dog. I know she's Caleb's dog, but of all three.
three of your children, she's worried about the little one. <laughs> okay. I worry about the little one, too. She's the hardest one. <laughs> uh, yes, she is. <laughs> she is. Are you sure you're not picking up on my worries? <laughs> It could be, it could be, it could be, because she's, uh, and she tells me, Honey tells me, she's a little on the noisy side, yes. and stop moving. Yes, ma'am. The child has to move, and yes. so I think that's, it's overwhelming for you, I think that's probably why she's a little on the overly protective regarding what, are you going to be okay, okay, so let me see what's going on with her. Oh, my gosh. She tells me right away that her heart and her liver, her liver has a little bit of pain in it. Okay. And it's not the kind of pain that you uh, associate with. It's uh, been overworked. She's been uh, learning how to move out of her body. Uh, she changes the subject on me because she doesn't want me to talk about her body. Uh, and she's talking about uh, navy blue. I, uh, something about the navy blue color. And uh, I'm not sure if you're changed curtains or something about the navy blue. Uh, and it's a fabric that's moving. So... I'm going to make an assumption that it is a drape or it's a, it's a, it's a big piece of fabric. I don't know. I want to, she, she shows you that I think more with your son probably. Uh, like a blanket? Uh, yes, she does. His blanket? It could be her blanket because it's a, a big object, but, um, and it moves, it Definitely moves. I don't know. I wish I knew. You'll know of what she's talking about a little bit later because she's going back in time. She's telling me the highlights of her life. Her eyes are rolling. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to. And she's breathing really heavy. Yeah. Yeah. You know why? Because she's giving me the. I think it's your son's room and uh, playing and uh, not only playing. And she talks about uh, it feels like a deck and then I take a step down and being outside with the kids, the noise and the activity. Um, this is really cute. She tells me that she believes that she's a, not only one of the family, but one of the kids. She's your kid. <laughs> she's one of the kids. I cook. She's my first kid. Yes, she is. She is your first kid. She gives me pictures of you, visuals of you sitting, and I see you with a I, I, I'm not sure if this is you're uh, designing something or you're just doing this for yourself, but you have a pen and paper, uh, and I feel it's like a drawing or it's a cre it's a, definitely a creative project that you're working on or have been working on that you like the feel of it uh, of laying up that's it of laying something out and seeing it come to come fully. Uh, develop. It's important, she tells me. It, that was always important. Write it down, write it down, and then watch it come about. And I want to speed up my talk when she's telling me, because she's talking about you and the speed in which you move and you do things and how fast you lo want it done. You want it done right away, you tell me. <laughs> uh, and she's captured your personality a little bit. She also talks about, 
I'm not this sure. I know this. It isn't at this place. Uh, she talks about the smell of pine trees and yes. the, and how important the trees are. So if you were going to have a vet come to the place, if you have pine trees or the tree, the smell of it, it's really important. And she said, uh, if you could have them assist her under the pine, under the tree, where it's cool. She's very much aware that you, uh, you know, that that is an option. She's not frightened. Apparently, you've been talking to her about it. <laughs> what I'd like you to add to that is I want you to add to uh, that you get to, you get to go to sleep. And then uh, you'll get dizzy, you'll spin out of your body, and then you're going to see me and you, and then you'll go home with me. Or if you have them coming to the house, uh, that you'll get to stay with us for 24 hours. Yeah, she's, they're coming to the house. They're going to come to the house. The pine trees That's are from Colorado. Tree. She lived with, I mean, she's lived with us everywhere. I've moved with her all over all over the United States, but um, I think her favorite was Colorado because she would run in the back and we had these beautiful pine trees and yeah. like that was like her, her, her spot. I know, uh, and if you had a pine tree in the backyard or just the trees in, and see if you can have somebody help you uh, with her on the bed blanket, all of you lift her and put her where the backyard where the trees and the earth is to do that. Okay. Uh, that would be really wonderful work for her. Okay. 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 Or if you have the smell of pine, anything that has the smell of pine, okay. that will really, um, and, and as I said, she is ready to go. There is no unfinished business for this dog. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want, and then I'll go back to being with her. The other thing I want you to do that's really important for this dog, and and well, most dogs, but but, the, but because of the relationship that you have, I want you to register when her soul leaves the environment. What does that mean? You're going to tell is the environment's going to feel something similar to uh, as if somebody taken her for a walk outside. Okay, and then. Uh, and then it'll feel very, very empty. When okay. that empty feeling hits you, when you feel that, it means your soul's uh, gone fully into objectifying where she is. Okay. And within three days, she's going to come back. It's going to okay. feel different. I want you at that point to say her name. Just say, okay. honey, I feel you around. I can't see you. Okay. It is extremely important to do that, Okay. 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 Um, also, she wants to thank you for the food. <laughs> okay. uh, did you bake her cookies? Bake cookies as well? You're, you're very attentive to the food, she said. You were very aware of my food. Yeah, we were. We were always, she's always been on a special diet, her and my son, you know, so she, I always changed her food. She's very particular. She doesn't like to eat the same thing more than, you know, like a few times a week. So sweet potatoes and food and treats and making sure that she had the best. I feel like because she had the best food, she stayed longer. Yes, she has. And she's aware of the effort, left, the effort that you put in because of that want you to really uh, recognize that there's an appreciation she has regarding uh, the fact that you put the energy into doing that. Uh, and that could be also that writing it down. Remember I mentioned about writing something down and then watching it come about. Okay. No, she's not saying Yeah, she's like that. Yeah. Uh, Caleb. Jackie. This is Jackie. the middle son. He's Jackie. the most, he's the most tender to the middle one. He's the middle one. Wow. Jackie, are you the one that's trying to climb up stuff? Yeah. Yeah. You know what she said? She wants you to just keep on trying, 
keep on doing it, all right? It's real important. Well, and you're freaking your mom out a little bit, but uh, she sees why you want to do that. So you just keep on, but watch from the ground. Be a little more aware of what's around you, all right? Sorry. Okay? Okay. She's very much aware of you. She loves you very much. She loves all three of you kids. And you know, in the movie Peter Pan, how the dog was kind of like the Nana, she felt like she was your uh, That's her name. Her ball yeah. Pardon? That's her name. That's her oh, name. No. Well, you're kidding. No. Oh, my gosh. No wonder she feels that way. He yeah. just, he just loves her family. And my sense is that you will end up with this soul again. Uh, I have that sense that she will come back to you. Oh, I hope so. I, um, this is really, um, I don't know. All right. Samantha, can you explain how a pet reservoir um, Re gets reborn and comes back to the same owner again. All right. Many times an animal has a, a very close connection with that human being, and there's things that they're both, it's a, the vibration of evolvement, where, uh, for instance, you with your children and the connection, not only the love connection, but the vibration in which you're open to feeling her, taking care of her, being connected to her, she in turn has a connection with each one of you and yeah. feels like there's an importance on the continuum of this. Yeah. And so that's one of the reasons why she's going to return to you. Also, this is the fastest way that the human species can learn uh, about our ongoing soul. Because when they return to you, all of the past possibilities that uh, where, you know, we don't incarnate, gets thrown out of the window very, very quickly. Okay. You will, she will do something when that, when that comes in. She will do something that, you, that only she does that you will know without a shadow of a doubt. That when her, it's going to be effortless. It's going to happen so effort. They tell me it's going to happen so effortless that you're going to be surprised. Okay. okay. You won't even have to think about it. She's getting very, very close right now. She's getting uh, lightheaded, she's telling me. Yes, she's breathing very fast. Yeah, the breathing is getting very, very, uh, yeah. See. And uh, she's getting to be more out of her body than in her body. I'm getting lightheaded because of it also. Samantha, do you sometimes the pets they go on their own? Yes. Instead of being euthanized? Yes. And I wish you would. Do. And if uh, if you didn't have the vet come in, what they're telling me is either way is appropriate for you. Some animals they need to go on their own, and she could. Um, and some animals it's part of the family, and the family uh, it is appropriate to assist. You can go either direction with her. You aren't going to see anything that's scary with this dog. She's just going to breathe kind of heavily. And many times after I've worked with them, and they've been able to tell their family how much they love them and what were the high points, um, then many times they have nothing else to say and they know they're going to be okay. And then they'll just start breathing, and then all of a sudden they'll get very quiet. Uh, one thing that helps a person that's in this situation is if she starts to feel like she's getting a little bit more energy, it means that the, bo the body has to take, it takes a lot of energy to leave the body. And so you'll see her want to lift herself. Don't, you know, just recognize it's part of the process. And then all of a sudden it's kind of like you pick yourself out and boom. You just slip out very, very smoothly. Her uh, deep, deep sleep, she's been learning how to leave. Okay. That, that is that very deep sleep where she so, where you go over, and at times, they, she's telling me, at times you thought I was already gone. Yes, several times. Yes, yes, she tells me that. 
And uh, and what's happened then is she really has been out, slipping out of her body and then come back in, slipping out of her body. Yeah, several times. There have been a very, uh, like probably four or five times where we thought we would have to put her down. And then all of a sudden she's like, nope, I'm fine. Everything's good. Yeah. And comes right back. Yes. That's and that energy. energy. And it starts loosening up with the back hand and the back leg. Yeah. And it's like the soul loose. It's like getting, uh, taking part of your clothes off. Yes. And, and, and then you just uh, get a little bit more looser and a little bit, and then it's very smooth. It's very smooth for her. Um, she, um, she, she came into my life right when I got divorced. And she, she rescued me. Yeah, she knows that. She knows that. And uh, That's she was she there when all of my children were born. And it's she's like, never, yeah. never, ever, ever harmed a fly. She, when my son started having seizures, he started pacing his bed. That's why she talks about his bedroom. And will someone be able to take care of Oh, his bedroom was blue. Pardon? His bedroom was blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why that was a big issue. uh, I remember she would jump up on top of my bed basically to let me know that she would lay right on top of him. And I kept getting very upset with her because I felt like she was being needy and he was having seizures. And I'm like, oh my gosh, just get away, and then I realized what she was doing was that she was staying right there with him the whole time that that was happening for him. Yeah. And people pay so much money to get these dogs trained, and she instinctually knew. She just, she was sent to be for him. Yeah. And I want you to know that she doesn't feel like, uh, She's not worried about him. Okay. He's stable. He really is. And he's got a clear idea what he wants to do. Yes, he does. He does. He's, uh, you won't ever have to worry about him. Your little one, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Second one because of the climbing and uh, wants to always, what's this? What's up there? What's up there? What's this? Yeah. You know, that uh, is... Uh, where, where she has a very crystal clear that her big concern is more on are you going to be all right and uh, doesn't want you to feel too overwhelmed, basically. If she could just wrap her arms around and say, I'm going to be okay, just, and I'll stay with you. I will stay with you. You're going to, she's going to be spending a lot of time on the inner until she returns back to you. That's one of the things that's so cool. Oh, I'm Me too. <laughs> very, very important. Her connection and her love for you and the family. Uh, that's part of the reason she's hung on a little longer than, than I know that. He has. He has. I know that. I, I know that. I knew that. So what I would do is just uh, get uh, get a little candle, light a candle, and then uh, I want you to tell her that it's all right for her to go, that you will be able to visit her in your dream world, and um, and that she's going to come back to you, okay? That you'll be looking for her when she returns. Just let her know that, and then just place your hand very quietly on her, and I want you to think of the gold, like looking at a sunset and thinking about the most beautiful gold-colored, uh, radiant sun coming through you and through and all around her right now and through your children. And let this calm frequency move in. And then as you have your hand just placed on her, don't pet her a whole lot, just leave your hand on her, Okay. Okay. All right. And then Perfect. just let, uh, then she may just make the decision and go pretty soon, okay? Okay. 
All right. Is there yes. anything else that you want to know? Because she's, she's so tired that she just wants to, she's wanting the quiet right now. Yes. Uh, I do, I do want to know, just in my, in my busy mom moments, when I wasn't as attentive to her as I was to my children, did she still know how much I loved her and valued her? Absolutely. And because of that, I want you to recognize that she tells me I stepped up. I became more involved with the kids. I played with them. I yes. moved around. I did these things. As if you put an apron on her and gave her a dust thing to dust her out and take care of the kids, yes. that's where she picked, She stepped up. Yes. Up where they, and if you remember, she's talking about many times, when you were on the angry side, I'd step in the middle of you, the two of you. She did. She did. She did. She's like, like I, I can handle this, you know, let me talk especially to you. Especially with the little one. Yes, especially with the little one. <laughs> because she's the one that is able to get under my being. And yeah. so, yes, she's my fighter, that one. Yeah. She's my, she's my fighter. Um... But, and she would get very upset if, if there was screaming or yelling or if I ever spanked her. Like, she was always very, like, that it bothered honey. It bothered you know she was telling me, she says, as you talk about her, you know what she wants to talk about? What? She wants to talk about the closet. She's sleeping in the closet. <laughs> I'm staying at my mom's house. <laughs> Uh, honey, if I was there, I would take and put my arms around you. I'm going to put them around you anyway, psychically, all right? I'm staying at my mom's house for a month. We moved to Nashville on Monday. Okay. And the boys are sleeping in one bedroom, and I'm sleeping in my mom's bedroom, and Luna's sleeping in the closet. No wonder. <laughs> yeah, she said the minute you start talking, I... Oh, oh my gosh. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still, I hear your voice, but there is no screen now. Something stopped. It, don't yeah. worry, I'll fix it. Okie doke. Yeah. Yeah. She's sleeping in the closet. It's so weird that you said that. Well, she knows where she is. Remember, I remember she's a, ch she's a little problem child that she really <laughs> is trying to you know, and I have a feeling when she's out of her body, she'll do a little bit more work with your youngest, with, with Luna. Um, that way, you know, it'll just help. Um, I, I, You know that gold energy I'm talking about, the red gold, as if you're looking at a sunset? I want yeah. you to really think about that on a regular basis, even now and the next day and the next day and the next day, especially okay. with her. They're also telling me... Regarding your son and his epileptic seizures, yeah. if you can uh, have him, when he starts, and this is where uh, Honey t says, I can feel when his heart and his energy starts to speed up. He starts, yes. head gets a little, he starts to get a little headache, and then, but his yes. energy starts speeding up. Yes. She says, I know when it's going to happen. Yes. So uh, she says that... When I, when, with me talking right now about that calm energy, to have him start thinking of this, his own sunset okay. inside of his heart, emanating through his whole nervous system and up into his brain. Okay. And and as if as if he's a Jedi and he's put himself in a gold bubble. Okay. Okay. I'll, yes, I will tell him. He needs to feel like he has some control. Yes, right. I will tell him. All righty. Yes. Okay. And uh, yeah, tell also tell him that uh, the depth of her love and that she was going to still be connected with him. And if he's asked in his dream world when he goes to sleep, just ask, "Can I spend a little bit of time with Honey?" Can okay. I a little bit of time at night, so that that ongoing relationship stays there in his mind. 
Yes. And uh, and she will. Okay. It, and for me, when I first experienced the reality of that, um, it was more real than this. Than this. And uh, for a while, I was a little bit mad at God because I didn't know what was really real any longer. But right. what gift is, because uh, I, I, spending time with my Irish Setter star, I mean, I could feel his fur and everything. And uh, so I want you just to tell, just to ask, I want to spend time with her. Okay. I want to spend time with her when I go to sleep. Okay. Where we go, okay? And you okay. do the same thing. You do the same thing. And I want you to know without a shadow of a dog, doubt that this dog, when you get settled, and they tell me six months, six months from now, uh, she'll start co thinking about coming in and you'll start opening up for that possibility. Okay. Don't feel like you need to do it right away. If it is later than that, they say you okay. have to wait until after you're completely settled. Okay. Yeah, we are very unsettled at this juncture. Yeah. Area. We have yeah. been for a while, you so. You can't take on a dog until uh, that happens. Okay. 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 So, and don't feel guilty about it because she'll visit with you regardless. Okay. So, do you, is she, is she understanding that this is the time or is she yes. saying please? No, no, she knows without a shadow of a doubt that this is the time. She's ready. Okay. She's ready. And she knows that there's a, the ongoing relationship with the two, with you and the kids. She's totally, um, uh, aware of it. All right. So. Okay. Now you've made the right decision. Thank and, you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You, you have no idea the peace that you brought to my heart today. And, and I, I know that she's feeling better because the more that you feel more relieved, the, the better she feels, the happier she feels, okay? I appreciate yeah. you so much, Vicki. Thank, thank you so much. I mean, I, it's so funny that you even reached out to me on this day you know it's no coincidence that's for sure i know this is uh, i this is part of my and i love this in order to help in this phase this phase yeah. is so important just so gut-wrenching just be kind to you and as i said make sure you get those particular box flower remedies um you will know. you will you tell vicky so she could text me what yes, they are well okay. that was honeysuckle and star of bethlehem Okay. And but I will I will do that and and I'll have her email it to you. And, okay. 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 Thank you oh, you're so ready. much. I know you're ready to go. So um, I wish I could see your face and just say goodbye, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Alrighty. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I know how hard this is for you and yes and the kids. Okay. Thank you, you so me. thank you I'm so gonna, much, Vicky. Uh, since I know what she looks like in her name, I'm going to continue my connection with her through okay. this process. Okay. Right? Awesome. And with you guys, all righty. Thank you so much. Alrighty, honey. Bye-bye. Right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so, Samantha, you're still there, right? Yes, I'm still okay. there. Okay, so I, I got it all on um, which is freaking amazing, except no video at the last end. But that was amazing, and you look fantastic. Thanks, honey. You look so good, Samantha. And you know what? I mean, I you look good. amazing. 